Hi and welcome! In this video, we'll look at pages in the content section. We'll show you the functionality of pages, how to edit pages, page settings, the public area, and creating a page for the public area. Pages allows you to create static content that is only updated occasionally. For example, company information or directions or site plans. Our app already has two pages in the logged in area, our homepage and the focus topic page, coronavirus info. In the experience studio, you can find pages here. This is our homepage. And this is our Corona information page. Both of these pages are comprised of sections. We will cover sections and other functions of the editor in a later video. You can edit page content here. For example, update a phone number, or if you would like to make a new document available for download. Save your changes at the end, or additionally, take a look at the live preview. Here you can find the page setting. You can adjust the title and icon of a page, the visibility in the app, and the visibility in the public area. In page settings, you can also define editors for your page. The public area of your app is visible prior to login, which means you can use this area for content for your customers, partners, or potential employees. In order for your app to be available for download via app stores, it is a requirement to have some public content. The reason for this is that app stores do not accept apps that solely serve an internal audience. You can ask your CSM for more information. Now, let's add a new page for our public area. Click here to add a new page. Enter the title and select the visibility. Then click Add Page. Now you can add your page content to the editor. A later video in this series will cover all functions of the editor in more detail. Then click here to save your draft. And here you can look at a preview on various devices. The page has been saved, but it hasn't been published yet. Let's navigate back to our page settings to add our page to the public area. For visibility in the app, we select Not Visible. This way, the page is only accessible in the public area. We then turn the visibility for the public area on. Click here to save your settings. And now, we can publish our page. In the Experience Studio in the dashboard, we can see a preview of our public area. And here, we can look at our newly created page. We'll explore more features of the Experience Studio in the next videos. And you can always find more information in our support portal.